Under head coach Billy Donovan, there's a growing list of who's who among NBA rosters. Indeed, the Gator Nation is everywhere when it comes to the NBA, as we see in this edition of Inside Gator Basketball. At the NBA All-Star break, there's a team averaging an incredible 118 points a game. But it's not a team you'll see in the NBA stats, it's Team Florida. The Gators have a dozen players active on NBA rosters, and they're combining to put up remarkable numbers. Six of them averaging in double figures. Bradley Beal, David Lee, Joe Kim Noah, Al Horford, Corey Brewer, and Chandler Parsons, all having excellent seasons. The Gator coaching staff is both impressed and proud. Uh, a tremendous amount. Uh, those guys are representatives of the university. Uh, it helps us on both fronts, obviously recruiting wise. We have an opportunity to talk about guys performing well at the next level. And then obviously, personally, just seeing these guys fulfill their own goals and dreams uh, and have an opportunity to provide for their families is always a good thing. It is a lot of fun, you know, to see these guys at some point in time in high school, whether it's a junior or senior, and then they have a chance to come to college and play a little bit, and then they go play at the pinnacle, the highest level of basketball in, in the NBA, and, and not just be on a team, but actually play and be a part of organizations that are, you know, competing for playoff spots, and in and, and, uh, and a lot of those guys' situations, competing for world championships. While each Gator deserves credit for his play, the cumulative impact of their success in the NBA also calls attention to the remarkable job the Gator program has done preparing players for the next level. The piece that you know, Coach always spends a lot of time on is that development piece of it, of player development, individual skill improvement. I mean, that, that's, that's a big part of what we do here. And obviously, you know, our offense with pick and rolls and different things like that, I mean, that's all the NBA is, is pick and roll. So th they're prepared um, with their development as individual players and then also, also the offense that we play. Billy tries to give those guys freedom, understanding, teach them how to play concepts, both offensively and defensively. Because when you so many times when you get into a game, uh, you can't stand over somebody's shoulder and tell them what to do. They've got to be able to read and react in the moment. That success also speaks well for the Gators on the recruiting trail. Yeah, I think it's, it's not only these guys getting there. It's the fact that they're there and they're having long careers. In the 2000 NBA draft, the Orlando Magic select Mike Miller from the University of Florida. You know, it's, it's not about the first contract you get, it's about the second one and being able to stay in the NBA for an extensive period of time. And, you know, I think that that, you know, in recruiting, it helps. It's, it's big. Uh, it really drives recruiting because a lot of guys at the high school level want to see NBA guys and they all have aspirations of playing at the next level so we can let these guys know, listen, you come here, you will have an opportunity to play at the next level, but not just play, but perform at a high level which is a driving force in recruiting right now. The Gator basketball complex pays homage to the best teams and players at the University of Florida, but it also calls special attention to the accomplishments of Gator players in their professional careers. Uh, with some of these guys that you see in here as individuals, um, um, it is important. It's not out in front like the teams are, but it's still important because um, in order to have good teams, you've got to have good players. You've got to have really, really quality people. Guys who uh, understand that I may have to sacrifice a little bit for the good of the team or the guy standing on the right or left of me. And um, I think Billy takes a great deal of pride in, you know, um, having a place where those guys can come back to uh, and still feel very, very much connected to their alma mater. For Inside Gator Basketball, I'm Larry Vitell. Billy, you can't help but not see a Gator when you turn on an NBA game these days. They're all around the league. Well, the thing that I'm most proud about, Mick, is, is a couple of things. One is hopefully in some way we've prepared those guys for the next level. But the thing about it is every kid's dream is to play in the NBA. The thing I'm proud about is these guys are going to have longevity. You know, it's one thing to get there. It's another thing to stay there and to have a career. And most of our guys that have gotten into the league have stayed there, and they're going to have very, very long careers. And hopefully some of our guys, you know, right now that are currently seniors will be afforded the same opportunity.